Hello, Hello church, church family. family. I'm Nancy. And I'm Shelvis. And we are mission workers serving alongside the people of South Sudan. And usually we've spent most of our years in South Sudan or in Uganda near the refugee camps. Uh, but currently we're in Charleston, South Carolina. It has been a year that has um, been very different than we expected. Like many of you, I'm sure, yes. uh, we came back to the U.S. in March 2020 and have lived in a couple different mission houses and with family temporarily, and it's all been a bit unsettling. And in the midst of feeling unsettled, we've continued to gain strength and inspiration from our South Sudanese siblings mm -hmm. who we've watched again and again um, go through life shifts that were unexpected, um, displacement, whether within the country or into um, neighboring countries and refugee camps. And again and again, we see people gathering together, creating community, um, finding a way to worship together and continuing to hold on to their faith. Not only have we drawn strength from them, but we've also drawn inspiration from them as well. And as we look ahead to the coming year, we hope that we can share some of that inspiration with the world. As many of you all know, we've been blessed with the opportunity to do research at the University of Oxford. And in just a few weeks, I'll be getting on a plane and making my way there. Um, while Nancy and the children will remain here until the pandemic becomes a, a bit more stable. Now, while at the University of Oxford, my hope is to do two things, to draw light to the amazing and unique work that South Sudanese Christians are doing in the midst of conflict in South Sudan, but then also to be able to, to, to cultivate and develop some peace building resources that can be useful for the context in South Sudan, as well as other places of conflict. I'll tell you that we are excited about the opportunity to do this research, but we're uncertain as to what this time means as our family will be divided. So we ask that you would pray for us as we try our best to navigate this uncertain time and to honor God in the midst of it and know that we'll be praying for you as you try your best in these uncertain times to honor God as well. Thank you so much for your support and encouragement through the years. It's meant so much to us. You've been such a blessing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.